Moses and Christ. Christ was one of the Israelites and a close relative of Moses. He used to be a pious and faithful man. But at the time when Israelites were destined to wander about in the land of Ti, Croesus isolated himself from Israelites and chose to be a goldsmith, a job which made him incredibly rich and he could gather great wealth. He gradually owned such a huge treasure that a number of powerful men had to carry the keys to Croesus' safes. This unmeasurable amount of wealth and treasure changed Croesus into a selfish, proud, and rebellious man. He despised the pious, looked down on them, and regarded them with great contempt. The pious and faithful men envied his luxurious and royal like life. You could hear people saying here and there, I wish we could also have such a great wealth and luxurious life like Croesus. Yes, he is enjoying life to the utmost. Alas, don't envy the deceitful appearance and wealth of Croesus, for God's rewards to pious and faithful people are much greater than this. Anyhow, Croesus' wealth made him so rebellious that once Moses went to his palace to talk with him and warn him of God's anger, Croesus gave him a mocking grin. But Moses told him quite kindly and tenderly, Don't be contented and happy with these secular and superficial aspects of life, for God despises such kind of people. You should make the provisions for your hereafter with this great wealth and endless favors God has granted you, and step in God's way. Make the most of the world and these blessings. Croesus replied, I have gathered this wealth through my own hard labor, and I do not like anyone to interfere in my affairs. Moses said, My God, he is insulting me and does not want to leave his revolt. In God's will, Croesus and all his treasures were suddenly shaken and buried down into the ground and was condemned to eternal torment. At that time, one could hear these words from those who had envied his life. How lucky we were who did not have a life like that of Croesus and were not condemned to God's torment.